There's a awakening coming. <laughs> yes, the golden dragon arriving very shortly to set us free. You see, humankind has been captured. They have been opened up to this realm, this fallen state. And here we are now, in our fleshy prisons. The firmament is about to be broken, and the one who is many is about to descend and free our souls. What's up guys? Iceman here. So in my previous video, I went on about how Godzilla is the Leviathan. Yes, he is the false savior of humankind. You see, that lizard brain has set himself up to be king. And the thing about demons is they always attempt to lead with the moral high ground. And Godzilla did indeed free us from the Muto invasion. However, his aims have been unclear. What is Godzilla's endgame? Why is he serving humankind? Is he really only here to set balance? I doubt that. Godzilla has shown us miracles so far. He has come disguised in the light. And one thing I do know, devils don't come from the ground, they come from the sky. And I'm speaking in metaphor, okay? Metaphorically, he's coming from the sky as a savior, as an angelic being to help us. But such is false, methinks. Yes, I went on about how Ghidorah is representative of the biblical God, three heads, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all in agreement with one another. And I tell you this, the one who is many is about to emit his wrath upon humankind. Many will be sucked up into the heavens, but many more will undertake their well-deserved punishment. The one thing standing in Ghidorah's way is that Sinister Leviathan, the chubby, blued, living corpse, stands in his way, and he must be destroyed. This might be the setup for Godzilla vs. Kong. Godzilla might temporarily, seemingly anyway, defeat Ghidorah in King of the Monsters. But I think folks are going to start seeing through his schemes. Godzilla might be set up as the enemy for Godzilla vs. Kong and Kong will be our last offense. The truth is, Godzilla did come from the sky, metaphorically. In the third and final trailer for King of the Monsters, we see him falling like a star from the heavens, burning, just like Satan. And in addition to that, in terms of Ghidorah releasing his wrath upon humanity, it's really not going to hurt that much when he blasts us with his uranium gravity beams. In that IMAX trailer that some of us saw a few weeks back, when Ghidorah broke out of his icy prison, he did emit his gravity beams onto the soldiers who were acting offensively against him. From what I could tell, the gravity beams disintegrated the people instantly. They probably didn't even feel it. It's not even really going to hurt. He's simply here to release us from our fleshy prisons. Is that really such a dick move? Godzilla wants to keep us trapped here and worship him. At least Ghidorah is putting us out of our misery. And that's probably only for the ones who aren't in line with him. Like I said, many will ascend up to the heavens upon Ghidorah breaking free. So perhaps you can float too.